Hello and thanks for joining me. Well, this is going to be a short video. I'm going to do something kind of radical to my mill. It's not a new idea, but it's a good idea. Let me show you what I'm going to do. First off, I'd like to say something about this vise right here. It's uh, sold by H&H &H Industrial Products, HHIP. That's the same people that make the or sell the cutoff blade that I use on my cutoff tools. Uh, the cutoff blade is excellent and I like this vise. It opens to 5 and 3 eighths inch and it's only 4 inches wide. As far as I know, that's the only vise on the market that does that and I'm tickled with it. What I'm going to do here, something else good about this vise is you can get extra jaws for it. Some of the cheaper vices out there, uh, and this is a fairly cheap vise. You can't get jaws to fit them. So I've got extra jaws here. I'm not going to put them on right now, but I want to make sure that they're the same jaws. Yeah, they're the same. Anyway, I am going to make stepped jaws. And that's not a new concept. A lot of uh, drill press vices have it, and I'm sure some mill vices too. But I'm going to cut a notch in here, 100 thousandths deep and 100 thousandths 100 thousandths that way and 100 thousandths that way on both jaws. And what I'm going to do, I want it exactly 100 thousandths because that way I can compensate for it with my DRO. The first thing I'm going to do is make absolutely certain this vise is square. I'm pretty sure it is, but I want to make absolutely certain. Wow, you can't hardly beat that. So, vice is square. Next thing I'm going to do is make sure the bed of the vice is ultra clean. I'm going to put a parallel in there and clamp it. Okay, next thing I'm going to do is find the edge of my jaw put an edge finder and then re-zero my DRO. Okay, finding the edge really didn't do anything. Uh, unless I trust that end mill to be exactly a half inch, which it probably is, but I don't trust it to be. I'm going to have to touch off. I put a uh, parallel in there. And I checked to make sure it was actually parallel. Everything's clean. Put the clamp that in the bottom there. Now I'm going to find the inside surface first. Okay, I'm just touching right there. thousands up. I think I'll go about 95 in each direction and then go make a final pass. Okay, now, about five, four thousand. Make it exactly one hundred thousand. Okay, here we go. Maybe should have used tooling. I got some sparks going on there.
looks good. Now I've got a, a parallel in there, so my this jaw is loaded. I've set the tension on my jaw, so it should be level to the uh, bed of the vise. And I'm going to do the same thing to this side, so I'm going to touch off. Okay, what I'm going to do now is double check myself. Zero to the uh, main part of the jaw. Now I'm going to zero or check where I'm at on the back side of a parallel. Well, I'm getting 295. That means I'm 5,000 off. 296 about. Don't know why I got that error. I was hoping it would be dead on. 97. What the heck is that? Needs to be 100,000. Well, better under than over. It's going to be hard to fix, but I'm going to mill that out just a little bit more. This side I'm not too worried about, but we've got a reference off the back jaw, so it needs to be right. Okay, that's... You know what? That might have been a burr on there. Let me get a file and we'll knock that burr off. That's some hard stuff there. Oh yeah, burr's gone now, but that's what it was. Hopefully I didn't go too deep. Check it out. Not too bad. Oh yeah. I like that. Now I can drill without parallels in the way. That's exactly 100 thousandths. That little ledge there, so I can compensate. Now I don't know about depth-wise. I got—I'm sure I got it really close. Uh, but this way, uh, back toward the column, is exactly one hundred thousandths. Just an FYI here: this screw right here holds this side of the jaw down so that when you clamp something toward the top, it doesn't lift it up. So, that needs to be snug if you ever do anything like this. It needs to be snug most of the time so that you're, whatever you're clamping doesn't lift up on this edge. Anyway, that about wraps it up. Thanks for joining me. Be sure and subscribe and ring that bell.